Cycling, Live or Die, Part 1 of 2, Live. This is a short documentary for the Golden West Digital Media Program. Deep in the cities of LA, I have met and interviewed several cyclists from different walks of life and experience levels. The main goal for this short film was to get the word out on the importance of cycling. I wanted to get a first-hand insight on the importance of bike lanes and cycler-friendly communities. I wanted to share with the world how cycling has improved the lives of so many. With a simple format and a simple message, here's what our fellow man had to say. Why is cycling important? Cycling uh, is important to me personally because it gives me a sense of freedom, it gives me a sense of personal accomplishment, it gives me uh, an appreciation for the city that I live in, Los Angeles, like I never had it before. I get to explore, I discover things that I never knew about when I was sitting in a car riding around. Plus now, when I take trips to different places, uh, up the coast, different parts of America, I was just in Japan. I try to get on a bike and look around because I feel like I really get to ingest that place a lot deeper than if I was just walking or being a tourist. I think it's important for people in general because it's no joke what's happening with fossil fuels and what we're doing as a people and a civilization, how we're just burning through our resources and destroying the planet. And not to be a tree hugger about it, but facts are facts. Gas is expensive and cars are giant, big, stinky, wasteful things. And, and Los Angeles is choked with traffic and people angry about sitting in it. And when you're on a bike, you're a part of an ecosystem that you power. It's people powered. There's, I can only get as far as my breakfast that I ate can take me. That's about it. And that's something honest about that. And this whole world can use a little bit more of this honest balance that cycling creates. Cycling is everything. It's how I get to work. It's my daily commute. How I have fun. I do it every weekend, every freaking weekday. Cycling's been really important to me. It changed my life. I was living a lifestyle that, uh, that was killing me slowly. But um, I got invited on a couple rides and finally one day I showed up and I rode. The first ride I did was 33 miles and I couldn't, couldn't understand how somebody who didn't have, you know, the, the cycling background could just jump on a bike and hang with a bunch of people. And it felt good to be a part of a group of people that were doing something that was healthy and, uh, and I continued to ride. And you know, when I did that lifestyle shift, it was like it filled the void for me. And, and I created all these good juicy endorphins in my life. And I started to feel so good, and people were saying I was glowing, and I was happy, and I was practicing my Buddhism, and I was cycling like two, three times a week. And then I started going from like Silver Lake to the beach, and I just felt so accomplished because I was the kind of girl that rode around the, the neighborhood. You know what I mean? I never got out the neighborhood. Do it every day. You like to do it. It's just part of life. It's like when you're part of a big family, a real big family. In, in the city of LA, mainly because traffic's a bit. Why are bike lanes and cycler-friendly communities important? Well, cycling-friendly communities, A, are safer for cycles. Uh, you know, you do the math, you get more cycles. You spend less money on health care because people are just healthier. You got kids with less childhood obesity. And uh, it's just a, a safer, kind of slower community. People aren't just whizzing around all over the place. You got to keep it safe, you're going to have a bike community. The big bike communities in the world, Copenhagen, Portland, uh, Amsterdam, Kyoto. I mean, these are magical places that seem kind of imbalanced, uh, and they're not tipped over with, with you know, too much pollution and, 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 and too much the craziness that cars bring. To prevent accidents and to ensure the safety of bicycle riders, which is increasing. Right turn! The more riders there are, the less you know, pollution there is. Um, like in Amsterdam, I went to Amsterdam in 2006, you see, all you see is bikes. <laughs> you see like 90% bikes and 10% cars. That's the way it should be. Um, and I loved it over there. So, uh, it's important to have cycling lanes and cycling through the communities.
because the more we have cycling lanes, the more people will be in the street. Um, the more we, we, we emphasize on the importance of cycling communities, the more people will feel like they're part, they're a part of something greater, and they're, and they're a part of something greater than the automobile. It's important to have bike-friendly communities because without without anyone understanding of like our, how, why we bike and everything, and like how are we supposed to set up more bike lanes? We need bike-friendly communities to help us set up a. Uh, more uh, bike stations to help us get uh, more bike lanes in LA, help repave LA for us. Just make it safer and then like easier on the drivers to deal with it. Just the safer it is for bikers, the more people that will be out there and uh, just to make it as accessible as possible. You know, bike lanes are important because you have to have a set space for us to be in. I mean, when we ride through traffic, it's obviously really dangerous. Some of us are uh, more skilled at it than others. But nonetheless, you still run the risk of, you know, getting hit by a vehicle. How has cycling improved your life? I mean, I got into cycling kind of recently. Uh, I went through a breakup and I was just feeling alone. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And uh, there was a girl I, I kind of was into and she was into cycles. And I'm like, damn, you know, maybe I'm going to start riding around. But then boom, the girl disappeared, but cycling just kind of found some, I found something of myself, riding around the streets, a sense of like covering a whole bunch of miles and how my body felt, I felt myself kind of burning away a lot of the crap, the fat on my body, I felt good. And then the community, the people in the cycling community, especially in Los Angeles, man, they're friendly, all walks of life. You got people of different ethnicity, different job status, different young and old age groups, and everybody gets along. Everybody smiles on these rides. You get out on one of these night rides, cruising through town, you don't know who you're gonna meet, you don't know what their background is, but usually people are smiling, they're friendly, and it's a, it's a melting pot, and, uh, and that's beautiful. I mean, that's a, that's a good thing. It tells you something about what cycling brings out in people, that it brings out such a, such a good crew with every ride. It broke my life. But I sold my truck three years ago, and I do not. And I get around solely by the metro and my bicycle. And uh, I don't know. I'm just uh, happier, and I don't have to deal with paying for car crap. And cycling just makes me a better person. I get excited about cycling. I love the bikes. I love the different styles. I love the different, you know, colors. I love. You know, the people talk about their ratios and their tires, and it makes me want to go out and do something. Um, you know, cycling's a way, a way for, for each of us to individually express who we are. Cycling has helped and improved my life for several different reasons. One, the first reason it helped and improved my life is I had a really bad accident in 2007, which didn't really make me shy of vehicles, but it made me appreciate how important my life is, and getting on a bike and actually um, doing what I did as a kid, going out and living my life wholeheartedly made me happy. Two, cycling has brought me um, a new community of people, a new crowd of friends who have really made me feel like a leader and I enjoy leading my ride. Three, because my bike is my life and I love it and it, and it takes me from point A to point B, from work and back. I got a girlfriend now that's been my life because she cycles and I love it. I love the community that has been developed around me. Cycling is my life, so there it is. Uh, I mean, I've probably seen over 90% of what I've seen in LA uh, since I've only been here about a year. It's probably been on the bike. Um, and then just the people I've met uh, through all the different rides uh, all, all throughout Los Angeles. It's been uh, pretty great. Hmm. Well, I used to be 300 pounds before I started. Just leave me that. <laughs> <laughs> Woo!